All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises and glories to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kwadash. Double honors to, the, to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And uh, peace and blessings to the elect men out there pushing and toiling for this for this truth, man. Uh, this is the brother Zabak, and I got the brother Ana. We're both from the GMS Dallas camp. And um, I just want to go on to this Bill Cosby situation a little bit, just kind of looking at it on, uh, in another at another angle, opposed to how you know the world sees it, because a lot of things that Esau puts out there, you know, he wants us to have sympathy for certain people, um, especially people of, of, of our nation that might be going through something, might be persecuted in the world, but ultimately he doesn't deserve the sympathy from the men of the Lord. Because Bill Cosby and what he stood for, because he's known for the Cosby show and how it was the great American black show. But that show was actually a show that uh, that actually uh, gave our people a false hope. You know, it gave our people something to look forward to, especially our young women um, and, and finding a husband and and raising the family and their position in the family because uh, the Cosby show portrayed uh, Bill Cosby uh, playing, I think it was Cliff Huxtable and his wife, I don't know her name, but he was a doctor and she was a lawyer. And uh, they uh, shared the responsibility as uh, married couples and, you know, in today's society and marriage, um, Marriage is, is pretty much the man and the female being one and only uh, the, the, the male being under subjection to his wife and the wife being under subjection to his husband, to her husband. But it's, uh, you know, it's contrary with the scriptures because the Bible talks about how a man, uh, how a woman is supposed to be submissive to, submissive to her husband and a man submissive to uh, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. You know, the man is not supposed to submit himself to his wife because that's uh, uh, the, uh, that's the wife's job to be submissive to the husband. Now, the, the husband does have a duty to the wife, but it's not to submit himself uh, lower than her because submission is to make yourself lower. Uh, but um, and to say that we're equal in our household is to submit yourself to your wife, you know. But um, we're going to start with the scripture in uh, Habakkuk. If you want to say something, brother, you, you can uh, chime in a little bit. Real quick precept. Kind. It's uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, that and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. The reason I brought that out is because we as a nation are known for our rebelliousness against the Most High, not following the standard that's, that he set up, but going after these other gods, these other philosophies, right? Okay. He goes into that, how we like as a nation to ask of people, you know, and that makes the Most High mad, which is why we're in the... Okay. Habakkuk, uh, Habakkuk chapter 2. Um, yeah, chap let me see, make sure. Yeah, yeah, I got Habakkuk, you. Yeah, Habakkuk. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Habakkuk 10, it says, Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, and puttest thy bottle, and makest him drunk, drunken also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness. Mm -hmm. It says, Woe. Uh, to him that causes thy neighbor to drink, or that giveth thy neighbor drink. Let me let me pull it up so I can follow along. It's a lot. Yep. You know, and that drink is going into that philosophy that okay, that's mingled with all sorts of demons and 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 and, uh, and ways to worship gods other than the Most High. You know. Mm -hmm. Idolatry. Come on, brother. Come on. 
God, the way of life that was portrayed on the Cosby show was lying to our people. It was it was a false way of living. It was a false uh, um, hope for our people because although it looked good, although it looked healthy for Bill Cosby and his wife to have his children, for him to be a doctor or a successful doctor, they live in a really nice home and neighborhood and they had uh, somewhat dis uh, respectable children, but um, they, they raised their children under the, under the American uh, tradition. They had Christmas, they had Thanksgiving, they had Easter, you know, they were so they went to church or if they didn't go to church, they had a spiritual presence about themselves where they b believed in God. You know, they had they had that and in, uh, included that in the show. It was, a, it was a it was like what we were raised in. But the ultimate goal, what we, we all want and desire was to have that um, that Stafford American life where it's just laid out on the table and everything's perfect. Um, we go to college, we get our degrees, we start our families, we, we find the perfect woman, the one woman that we're going to spend the rest of our life with, and and we love her forever and we cherish her, we get down on one knee and marry her. All of those things they incorporated in the Cosby show, which was really a, a whole bunch of crap, man. It was a whole bunch of poison to our people. That was that wine that was given to, to our people um, via the, the Cosby show, you know? And, and, and uh, go ahead, brother. Oh, man, breaking it down, man. Oh, I thought you uh, were going to say so. <laughs> no, I mean, I can't. Uh, just to add, I mean, who was the one who was behind the scenes recording the show? Who was the one who wrote the show? Khan, Khan. And who was the one who said, oh, let's put this on TV or and ordained it for it to go on TV for Jake to watch? Khan, you know what I'm saying? Khan. Self proclaimed white man. I mean, I mean for you. Mm -hmm. you know, for mm -hmm. because Come. he's the one to blame, man. Mm -hmm. That's right, brother. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it real quick. Um, who uh, wrote the Cosby show? Probably had a few writers for the show, but um. No. Mm hmm The top, the first right. one that popped up is Ed Weinberg. You know, on that demo, uh, the Cosby Show writers. These are the writers. Of course, they're going to have the nigga woman in there. You see? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, click on that first. Click on that first dude, Bob. Kushan. The first guy. <laughs> So-called Jew, y'all. Yeah, yeah, click mm -hmm. on this guy, man. Look at this man. Let's see who this Look is. This rascal, man. Edwin. Yeah, man. Life and character. See who this guy is. Born and raised in Philadelphia, the only son of a Jewish butcher, Ed Weinberg. Oh. Come on, <laughs> he, man. That's just, that's he he wrote the Cosby show. <laughs> Look at this he saw behind the scenes, man. He saw behind the scenes. That's a part, prime example. Self-proclaimed being behind the scenes. Okay. He trying to uh, successfully control the minds of the simple mind of the simple people. Man, that's you no, know? that's crazy, bro. And Can I, I didn't even know again? this. This is new. This is me neither, this is all man. through the spirit. We just looked it up real quick. Come, Can I can I read, read the scripture again? Come, brother. Habakkuk two and fifteen. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, and puttest thy bottle to him, and makest him drunken also, that thou mayest look. Guess what? When we fees of the self-proclaimed white man and this is just of his continual uh, 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 efforts to do so okay, mm -hmm. uh, to mm -hmm. push that on us okay our Nick we've met we, we've met like I, I, he saw me and made there now we, he saw us mm -hmm. okay as a nation because we haven't we clothed with as far as a, as a nation is concerned we haven't been clothed with the garment of uh, Yahweh Bashim mm -hmm. Okay. God. So I've been looking upon that uh, that shameful, you know, our, uh, you know, that shameful, our secret parts, man. Mm-hmm. Man. Now it's prophesied. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Let me see. 
All right. So, but yeah, so we're in, uh, in Isaiah too. Mm -hmm. Um, what was that? Isaiah chapter nine. Uh, Con. And, and, uh, let me see. Isaiah chapter nine and 16. It says for the leaders of this people cause them and they that are led of them are destroyed. Now, mm -hmm. Bill, Bill Cosby is seemingly a leader. Okay. to our, or was, we're using just an example. Okay. He was seemingly a leader, uh, you know, to our people in that time, you know, even though he had a, he had a bald head, a bald head, or did he, uh, even if he had hair, he had a bald face. Mm -hmm. and, you know, he knew, he knew, man, he heard the word. Okay. Uh -huh. okay? He had the chance. He had the chance mm -hmm. to, to think, you know, to Come on, brother. the most high, you know, he's, he'll give you a chance to hear, you know what I'm saying? But the scriptures say, whether they hear for fair. All right, mm -hmm. but building on that love, love, love that uh, money, man. That was the root of evil for him. And now you see all the money that he did have, or if, if he has some, he in jail. How, huh. how he gonna spend it? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Come so, on, brother. So Esau, so Esau half with this dude, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> come on, come on. Hey, Gil, yeah, look, look, look at him, man. Look at him. <laughs> hey, and he he remind me of this so called Jew that was on that uh straight out of Compton movie that uh that oh, which, guy, one? which one? This guy Ed Ed uh Ed Wein Weinstein or Wein show, show a picture. Hold on. Yeah. Let me go back. They got they had a picture of him. My computer, my internet's acting slow again. But uh yeah, they I had a picture. Here he is right here. He remind me of that so-called Jew on the straight out of Compton movie that uh that uh was was stealing money from, from Ice Cube and them. You know, you see him? I didn't watch the movie. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, well yeah, yeah, but so uh, uh Ice Cube and them, they uh they were doing a thing with the NWA and uh they, they was they was printing their own records and they were selling them and they got in bed with this so-called Jew that they caught on to the money rack you know like hey I can make some money with the, these guys you know and he encouraged them to do gangster rap and 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 um and and that's pretty much how uh they got a lot of their money stolen like the majority of our artists uh so-called Negro Latino Native American artists that uh, put out music, they're they're broke. They don't have any money. The people that produce them, the people that give those them those record deals, they um they're backhanded deals that ultimately leave you broke. And then none of your pub pub publishings belong to you. It belongs to the the record label, and uh and you, and you don't have anything. You know all of your work, everything that you designed and created, is theirs. And that and the, the so-called Jews are behind it. You know. Just to put that out there. No, that's that's the whole point, man. You know, it's mm -hmm. the same thing with the music industry, TV, uh, you know, uh, modeling, all that stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All, all controlled by Eve Mike's, man. Good. Um, oh. Let me see. So did you want any other scriptures other than uh, Isaiah? and then Oh, that and John. Yeah, did you get that in oh, Isaiah? Yeah, yeah. got that in Isaiah already. Yeah, I did. I get that in John. Uh, okay. You want it now? Yeah, come on, brother. Okay, it's uh, John chapter 8 and 44. It says, ye are of your father, the devil. <coughs> mm -hmm. All right. So Bill Cosby, man, he was of his daddy. No, the devil, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was the one writing the show, and Bill Cosby, the one playing the, um, playing the damn character. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Of your father, he will do. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he did, man. <laughs> that's some, that's some stuff Esau do, man. He'd take on Esau's way. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. ultimately, he wasn't uh, he wasn't uh, believing in the Lord? Uh, otherwise, uh, his works would show it. Mm -hmm. Lord, he was a murderer from the beginning, and a bow not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own and the father of it. And that's the point. Come on, brother. You know, we get it on Bill Cosby and all that. But really, this 
self-proclaimed white man is the one that really his full judgment that we can't wait for, man. He's the one, he's the reason why we're in this hell, why we're in this predicament that we're in to begin with. If he didn't exist, we wouldn't be here, which is why the most I going to take him out of the equation and we're going to be A-OK for eternity. Come on, brother. That's right. That's right. Um, and the Most High is going to have mercy on us, man. You know, because uh, because he know he knows that the, the the reason why our people are in such bad shape is because of the so called white man and them seducing us to to do wicked and to continue to go off and to, to uh, uh, commit crimes against him. You know, because they they know. And just thinking about the whole Colin Kaepernick situation, we know it's not, Colin Kaepernick is not genuine about that whole situation. Colin Kaepernick has a, a platform, of course, but he's taking deals to make money with this platform. So you know he's not genuine. And then he's taking deals from so-called white people, these Edomites, to make money off of this off of this thing, so you know he's not. He's if you have a problem with the so-called white man, you don't go to the so-called white man to help you push your agenda. You know, and and you know, um, and then just to think about, even though like they're making a they're making an issue about, and this is kind of going into causing our people to error or causing our people to go off against the Most High, even though they're make Donald Trump makes the this issue and white America makes this issue about this NFL players kneeling during the national anthem. Um, uh, kneeling is a sign of, of, of respect and, and actually uh, worship. When you, when you yeah. kneel to someone or to something, it's a, a sign of worship. It's not a sign of disrespect. So when the song comes on, and there's, a, there's an apocrypha, an account of, of, a, of an age where uh, this particular ruler forced uh, the Israelites to kneel every time this song came on, or it, it was a type of music for that kingdom that they had to kneel. And if they didn't kneel and bow down to it, then they would be put to death. You know, I, I wish I could pull. I wish I could pull it up, but I was, I was listening. Nebuchadnezzar. I think so, brother. Down down to the image of, uh, of Nebuchadnezzar, and if he didn't, uh, uh, if he didn't uh, bow down to worship, then he'd be thrown into the uh, burning fiery furnace. Yeah, but it was some music that was playing. Yeah, you know, the, uh, at the sound of the psaltery and the harp and and the sack con, button. Con, and all that stuff. Con, yeah, that's con. Chapter, uh, three, I think. Spiritually, look, con. Spiritually, looking at that, it's the same thing. If, if you look at it, even though they're, they're being persecuted for doing it, it's supposedly a sign of disrespect, but it's actually a sign of reference. You don't kneel. You don't kneel to anything that you don't uh, that you're that you're uh, against. You know, kneel, kneeling is like giving the ultimate respect. It's like yep, a psychological I mean, the word, thing. The word kneel. I mean, the word uh, knee in, in the Hebrew is Barak, which means blessed. Con, see, see, and you kneel, and you kneeling when this song comes on, you know, e even though you saying that it's about this, but really spiritually, it's very, it's way deeper than what you, what, what they're portraying it to be, you know, and then it's causing other, uh, other players to kneel, you know, they might even be doing it in college games or, or high school games during the flag, you know, they're kneeling, and that, and and even though. In their mind, just like Christmas, in your mind, it's about Jesus' birthday, so-called Jesus' birthday. But you really worshiping idols. So in your mind, I'm protesting the flag or I'm protesting police brutality. But what you're really doing is cursing the Most High. You know what I mean? You're, you're cursing your Savior because you know we, we gotta give we're gonna give homage to our savior when he returns every eye shall bow every 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 eye shall see every knee shall bow you know so you bowing down when the song come on it's like you it's like you're worshiping it or you're referencing it or you're giving it authority over you it's real you know it, it it's it's very psychological like Esau man he plays these games bro and he makes an issue out of certain things but he wants you to buy into it and just like the Cosby show, 
it looks like it's a great show. Like it looks like from the outside looking in, from a worldly perspective, from a fleshly perspective, man, that's a beautiful family, and they just they have money, and they they're, they're wealthy, and they live in their life. But man, that's not that's not the uh that's not the uh status quo of the of the so called Negro Latino Native America man American man. We're 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 slaves, and we're really in a bad shape in America, you know, and. Uh, the most high knows our 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 tribulations. We're going through. We're not in. We're not brought here to be be lifted up. We were brought here to be put down, brother. You know. And uh, that's pretty much what this message was about. Was just to kind of shed light on the the secret agenda of the so-called white man. How he can flip things to make you think that it's about this and make you go along with it. Or go against something, but you're really going right into his trap. You're really, you're really falling right into his trap with all of this stuff that's building up. You know, uh, a lot of people are very emotional about the whole uh, Bill Cosby going to prison, and it, and it really shows that he's a hypocrite. You know, because for him to have a show telling the people or being a representation of the be of a good father and this and that, a a, a so-called um, what you call it faithful husband but he was everything but faithful to his wife in real life you know what i mean so like it's like oh but he represented he represented this great this great um family man but in his real life he he couldn't he couldn't even hold up to that standard that's a that's a false standard that we're looking up to that our young men and women are looking up to i'm gonna i'm gonna find that one woman that i'm gonna give her everything but that one woman that you finally find, she's all used up and abused, man. You know what I mean, brother? God. And I'm going to pull this one last scripture before we close it out. Um, this is Proverbs chapter, um, chapter 11 and verse 9. It says, and hypocrite with his mouth destroyed his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. And through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and giving us the Holy Spirit to come into us and sup with us to see, you know, through the through the darkness, because like we have the light to see through the darkness. Like we, we we can see, we can see what the average person don't see. Everybody else is tied into these situations to where they feel emotionally attached. The same way with voting. Voting doesn't do nothing. Everybody knows that voting is, is really fraudulent, but when you give into it, you're emotionally attached to this country. You feel like you're a part of this country. So when your person win, you feel good. And when your person lose, you're emotionally down because you feel like you put your all or you put something into it and you got something out of it. But ultimately it's just to keep you continued into the system and believing in this the system that's that's set up to destroy you, you know? And, and this is a hypocritical nation, man, like the Bible says. Uh, America, America does not uh, have good intentions for the so-called Negro, so-called Latino, and so-called Native American, you know, and our people need to come out of that understanding that this place is is the, the land of milk and honey, and it's not. This is the shadow, this is the valley of the shadow of death, and we are in grave, grave danger here in America, man. I just, you know, through the spirit, I, I wanted us to bring this out to, a, to the attention just to, just to show how the Cosby show is to our people is something that we we hold near and dear to our our hearts but ultimately it's it's set up to be a, a snare and a trap for our people I don't know if you had anything else brother Con, this is first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse uh, verse 4 it says but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief they are Ye are all children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the, of the night nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. So only those who have the light of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, only those who have the understanding and the wisdom that Yahweh Hashem Yahshai has given unto his elect men in those certain days are going to be able to see past the BS, the trickeries, the shadows, that have uh, the Esau has put over the eyes of our people to make us stumble and fall into his trap. Okay, mm -hmm. and so that's why it says, "Wash and be sober," because that's exactly what we ought to do 
as spiritual watchmen, uh, we ought to, uh, uh, first of all, we call things out and we warn the people. All right. So that's exactly what the point of this lesson is to do. Mm hmm. Come, on, brother. And uh, like the scripture says, we're not in darkness. No, we're 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 men of light. We have light, and and our light is is shining on the darkness and shining through it. And we're seeing all all that's that's covered in and bliss that's really uh or covered or candy coated. We're we're wiping away all of that filth, man, or all of the prettiness of it to see the truth, the bitter truth of it all, you know, the bitter truth of it all, man, this, this place is not designed to lift up our people. It's not designed for our people to be here and to make a life out of America. And it's, and it's, it's uh, ways and philosophies and, and doctrines and, and Christianity and all the things that he's given us, you know, like homosexuality, uh, school, the school systems, those, all of those things are designed for our people to fail and to be put down um i'm gonna go to to this um because the men of the lord are to come out and proclaim those things with the light that we have that we've been given you know from our dead state when he rose us up because we're we're alive we, we've been reborn brother you know um this is isaiah 58 and 1 it says cry aloud spare not lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of jacob their sins you know and, and that's what we're doing. We're we're coming out. We're 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 crying aloud, man. When we go out in the street corners, when we we put up our videos, and and when we uh when we when we proclaim when we proclaim the righteousness of the heavenly Father, or when we uh, execute judgment in the sense of uh, when we live under judgment and, and trust in the judgment of the Lord, we're uh we're 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 lifting up our voices like a trumpet, and we're showing our people their transgression. And the house of Jacob, which is our people, of course, uh, their sins, you know, the things that is grievous to the Heavenly Father, the things that we're doing, even, man, and it's so many things that we are emotionally attached to that the Most High is like, ah, you know, because like <laughs> it's a scripture that says, ah, sinful nation, you know, the Most High is like, ah, no, nah, that's not where it's at, but our people's heart is in the wrong place, but it's up to us to tell them where they, where they err to give warning so that the blood can be wiped out off of our hands when destruction comes. So they, they can't say that you, you never sent anyone to, to help us. You never sent, you never sent anything or any, you never sent your, your words to comfort us and to help us and to show us the way, but through the prophets, the most high uh, is, is showing the way we, you know, through Yahweh Shai, you know, because he is the truth, the way, the truth and the light. And we have Yahweh Shai, man. He's back on the earth through the prophets. Um, and when we're and we're and we're um we're pushing that that message, the same message that he pushed when he was living, and we're and we're trying to live the same life that he lived, you know, because he lived the perfect life. But ultimately, we know that we can't um we can't be perfect, and we're gonna sin. But 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 that's the whole point point of the um the New Testament. But uh, I don't want to digress too much, brother. I don't know if you had anything else. No, you would be hit the nail on the head. I <laughs> but I appreciate you uh uh man being with me on this lesson, Akia and uh and Dwight for all the but that's able to listen to this message and I hope that it it uh is a blessing to you all and, and this this message was uh edifying because uh that's what we wanna do is edify the people and to uh you know get the blood off our hands, brother. And with that, we're gonna give our praises and glories to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekai, Kwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and uh, peace and blessings to the elect men out there pushing this thing in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. Shalom.